So today I'll be showing you guys tips and tricks to make your aim better in Valorant. And you guys know I don't like making long tutorials, so I won't keep you guys for long. So let's get started with the video. And as always, please leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content. Now first I'll start out with the setting on your computer. And what you want to do is go to control panel. And then once you're in control panel, you want to go to mouse settings change mouse settings and then you want to go to pointer options and then you want to make sure that enhanced pointer position is off and what this is 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 it's mouse acceleration and you want to have that off and i don't know what it does i always like every single video i've watched about aiming and like oh when you get your computer make sure you have mouse acceleration off and i was like okay so i just turn it off and i just have it off and when i first got my mouse the this is i have the logitech super light that's the mouse i have and when i first got this mouse i noticed that my aim was garbage and then my friend was like hmm check if you have mouse acceleration on and i was like no i turned it off and when i got my pc i look in mouse settings and then it was on so i turned it off and as soon as i turned it off i started hitting more headshots i started hitting more shots in general and it just made for a better experience for me so just make sure that mouse acceleration is off now the first step i'll be giving you guys is about holding angles and i've seen a lot of people especially in my games holding angles so close to the wall people will walk in, like as you can see right there people will walk in your crosshair so make sure when you're watching an angle you're leaving space because if your crosshair is too close to the wall they're just gonna walk past your crosshair and you're gonna end up having to adjust and right here you're gonna see like an example of that because right there although i got the kill i had to readjust and the killjoy almost killed me so basically what you're doing is just letting the enemies run into your crosshair. This also varies with the reaction time. Like mine isn't as good as like, what, 10s? So if you do have a better reaction time, obviously you're going to be able to hold closer to the wall. But if you don't, just hold your crosshair further from the wall. The next tip is about your movement. And I'm sure a lot of you already know what counter strafing is. But if you don't know what counter strafing is, counter strafing is just basically halting your movement and being able to shoot as soon as you do that. And this is extremely important because every millisecond in Valorant counts. And obviously you want your first shot to be accurate and also one more thing you don't have to counter strafe because in valorant as opposed to csgo you you can literally just let go of all the keys and you'll still get the same counter strafe effect from what i've heard it's like a couple frames of differences i suggest still counter strafing because of the couple frames that you save and there's also a chance that your bullet might not be 100 percent accurate when you stop because it's not as fast but basically if you don't know how to counter strafe already all you have to do is if you're pressing D, you want to press A, and if you're pressing A, you want to press D, and if you're pressing W, obviously you press S. Now another tip, this kind of goes with the movement thing, but you never want to be pressing W. Obviously you can't when you're going forward, but you want to peak angles using just D or A, because you won't be able to counter shift correctly if you're pressing W and D at the same time. And now for the next tip, I'll be showing you guys crosshair placement, and I'll be talking about all the places around the map that actually help you with crosshair placement now all around the map you'll notice that there's places like this where you can literally line up your crosshair with it like right here and right here and it'll perfectly align with the enemy's head and i'm not going to show all of them but they are there and they're extremely useful if you're having trouble with your crosshair placement because i know i did and I actually found this out like a couple weeks ago i don't know from where but i started looking at all around the maps and then it actually worked really well and I'm not going to show all of them, but if I were you, I'd go into each map and look around the maps and see like where each of them are because they literally are in every map. So for the next tip, you actually have to know how to counter strafe for this. So this is a more advanced move. And what it basically is, is a moving counter strafe. Like as you can see, I'm counter strafing and I'm moving. And what this allows you to do, keeping your shots accurate while making it harder for your enemies to hit you. It's really more of a movement tip than an aim tip because you actually have to know how to counter strafe and aim for this to be effective. But there will be situations that when you're doing this, the opponent's not going to hit their shots on you, leaving you for a better chance to kill them. Now, this is a tip if you want to find the perfect sensitivity. What you want to do is go into range and you want to turn on the practice bots. And then what you want to do is track the bots heads. Obviously, it's not going to be perfect, so don't beat yourself up with this. But what you want to essentially do is be able to track the bots head, not perfectly, but enough. So you're not either too behind or too forward and if you're too forward it means it's too fast and vice versa if it's behind and for the next tip it's really much like a personal preference i see people saying that crouching is bad and not necessarily if you're crouching every single kill that is bad that's a bad thing you do not want to be crouching in every single one of your kills but crouching can affect the way your crosshair is because obviously whenever you crouch your aim is going to go down 
an easy fix for this is just go like a couple rounds in deathmatch without a crouch button so just disable your crouch uh, button play a couple of death matches play a couple of games without crouching and turn it back on because all crouching really does is affect your crosshair placement and your recoil so this is these this is a really small tip but just make sure you're tap spraying or burst i say that as i i spray in the clip but <laughs> But just make sure to tap fire or burst fire as much as you can and avoid spraying in most situations. Obviously, you're, there's going to be situations where you have to spray, but you should always be looking for a burst fire or a tap fire. But anyway, that's all the tips I have for today. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more content.